Um, so up in uh, C1, it wants us to sum these equations. So we're going to write out the equation. We're going to start with our equal sign. Uh, and then you can either type in sum and open a parenthesis and highlight. Or what you can do is you can go here to auto sum. And in this auto sum, we have uh, kind of some uh, things we're going to be doing today. We're going to be working on sum, average, count, max, min. So this is kind of like a simple, uh, if I just click it, you're going to see that sum comes up. And it does kind of uh, guess at what, you're, what it thinks it's gonna, you're going to sum. We can see that it did it correctly. So we can go ahead and hit enter or the green check mark and just copy that over. All right. Here, we can do the same thing. We need to type equal sign average or go to our auto sum and click average. And then on this one down here, it just wants us to average all of the averages, so I'll type this one out um, and then I can highlight all of those averages there. All right, we want to do the mins down here, so I'll type out the min. So equal sign min, open parenthesis, highlight my numbers, hit enter, and copy down. And on this side, I'll go ahead and use this for max. Click my green check mark and copy over. All right. We have non adjacent. What that means is you see, we have columns for max, min, sum, average. Uh, it's probably going to make me type it out. Um, I'm kind of curious how it's going to, how the formula will respond here. So let's go open max and do that one. I'm going to go ahead and do my minimum right away. And you can see when it does the minimum, it includes the maximum number in here. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're changing um, this E46 to it should be D46. All right, and normally you can grab these little corners here, but for some reason it wasn't allowing me uh, to do that. So, so since I know this is going to happen, let me just do it one more time to show you. Sum and if I zoom in, it'll give me that. Oh, I just saw it. There we go. All right. And for average, I'm just going to type it out. Average. Click on that and select my numbers. Now I can just highlight all of these, and then I can drag all four down at the same time. All right, some, so I'm going to say some cells, so let's go N4 plus C417, excuse me, plus E31 plus G8. can also do something like this where you can go average and I can say A10, H8, K5, G40, and D59. Let's do the same here. So average A58. G49, B36. Uh, let's go A4 and type this one out as well. And P4 through P17. All right, working our way back up to here now. Now this is, all right, 
for rounding. So let's look at our instructions here, just so I know what I'm talking about. It says use round function to round the numbers. Count k once you've gone all the way. Okay. So we are gonna go. Oh, okay. Round. Uh, we're gonna do this. Sorry. I'm gonna take the number, comma four. All right. So k five. Through K4. I am going to lock in this number. So K5. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to drag this across. And then I can just change the number in each. And then I'm going to uh, copy and drag it down. So I'm going to put dollar sign in front of the 5 to lock in K5. Or excuse me. I want to put it in front of the K because I want to lock in my K here. Lock this in, drag it across. We're going to get the same number, but now once I change this to a 3, change that to a 2, change this to a 1. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to change this to whatever is in P4 here. Oh, that does work. All right, so I'm going to go back and do something a little bit different. So now I'm going to go round. I'm going to take this number. And like I said, I want to lock in the K. And now uh, the number of digits is already put uh, posted up here. So I'm going to click on L4. And now I want to lock in row 4. All right. So now when I copy this across, this 5 will change when I copy it down. And this 4 will change. Or no, this uh, the, the column L will change when I copy it across. So we're going to see that I can now... Copy it across. Oh, we're going to see we get rounded down to 0, 1. We're going to get into the negative 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. And then I can just copy it straight down. All right. So that is uh, the beauty of using absolute values and uh, cell reference, absolute cell reference uh, with that dollar sign. It saves you a lot of time. All right. So we're going to say round G14. By negative four. Two twenty one. Oh, let's run it. Two twenty one. So H twenty eight is H twenty eight. Oh, I skipped a few over here. H twenty eight is twenty. So that would be, I guess, zero. There we go. All right, so I skipped a few. C5, it wants us to count. Very simple. We can go up here, equal sign count, open parenthesis, and highlight your numbers. All right, or you can once again go here, auto sum, and count numbers. Here we would just go count. Highlight all the numbers, comma, select your next data series or range. You can see I kind of forgot three down here, so I'm just going to expand that, comma, and select the rest. Enter. All right, so you kind of understand how to do this here. I'm going to skip that. Let's see here, it says round, and we want to do B16 plus H20, comma, zero, there we go. 
All right, so now that I showed you how to do that one, you guys can do the rest here as well. I'm gonna scroll down and knock one of these out. So with the count, we're just gonna go equals count. And once you get one of these done, you're gonna realize how quickly we can make this all happen here. So let's go average. Here to here, some now I'm highlighting all of them to show you, uh, like I said, how quickly we can make this work. Um, whoops, whoops, screwed that one up. And now rounded average. So we're going to go round this. And I'm not sure we're supposed to round it to, so I'm just going to guess zero. All right, so now if I want to copy all these formulas over, there's two things I can do. I can copy and paste. All right. Or if I really want to save time, I would have to do that three, four, you know, three, three more times. What I could do is just take and highlight this. And since with this is the same on each one of these, I could just drag this across, just like that. All right, so there you go, guys. Um, there is your quick uh, section three. All right, have a good day.